In the latest episode of Hack My Growth, we're gonna be taking a look at how we can add review markup to our website in order to earn some amazing rich results. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching or maybe you've been watching a while and you have not yet hit subscribe, please do so now. We create new content each and every week to help you get the most out of your digital marketing efforts. As I said in the opener, we're gonna be looking at review markup and how we can add it within our website pages to set ourselves apart within the search results. All right, let's go. All right, so let's get into the content. Like we said in the opener, we're gonna be looking at how we can add review stars into our SERP listings. So as we talked a lot about in this channel, rich features can help your brand stand out. They can give you that edge that may cause a user to, to click when they might not have actually clicked before. Now there's a lot of factors at play when we talk about SEO, but one of the things that structured data can do is allow our sites to have that extra bit of information that makes us look a little bit more attractive to the user. As you can see here, both on the left and the right, we've got these review stars. The stars are marked up where you've got an overall rating, in some places you've got votes, uh, in other places you've got things like reviews. And these are places that you can actually add structured data to your page in order to mark up your page so that you actually get these, these ratings. Now those yellow stars really do pop on a page of white with just black and blue. Now there could be other features like images and other things within the mix as we've seen a lot like right here within this search result you've got the FAQ snippet, you've got people also asked and reviews, but that yellow does definitely draw your eye. You'll see the review snippet a lot when it comes to products. So if we look at this specific type of product, you can see here that we've got all the different reviews, um, both from Amazon, as we can see here, uh, being marked up, and we can see you know how many people like these. Uh, it's kind of interesting, you've got really the, the same product and it looks like, um, just from two different Amazon suppliers with two different review ratings. Um, but it definitely allows you to see some really helpful information from a user standpoint and for those of you looking to get organic visibility can set you apart as well. So why is this an important SERP feature? Well, over the last few days or so, we actually can see that reviews were shown on about 50% of search results. So this shows that, hey, a lot of these results have. And if we look over here at kind of the last 30 days, they haven't been anything less than 47% of search results. So if you've got products or information or services that you're selling where you get reviews from clients, this is a way to help mark your site up. Now, if you have a Google My Business listing, those reviews definitely show up right there within the maps, but we're talking about things outside of the maps here. We're looking at specifically the search results like we see here, where we've got the link, our title, our, our description, and then some more information. And right now, uh, as of the, the time that we're looking at this video, it was at about 50% of search results were showing these review types. So they are very important and they are a way that you can uh, take advantage of it. Just because they're eligible at 50% of results doesn't mean they're always showing up. So Google will fluctuate. You know, you may see a review one day and you may see it go away another. They're constantly changing. They're constantly testing things. That's why you see these go up and down. But when you have this script in there, uh, you have a higher chance of earning that. And like you can see, they don't give it to everybody. We've got all of these links here with no reviews, but only one that's actually showing the starred review. And in this one, we have the top two had them, but a lot of the results below did not have the reviews. So in order to actually get these stars to show up within your search listings, you need to have two pieces of information. You have to have both aggregate reviews as well as real physical reviews to mark up. Now, a lot of people will go ahead and put aggregate reviews into their organizational markup, or maybe one of the, like their services or products, but they won't mark up real reviews. And in that case, you're not going to see this star rating show up. They have to have some actual reviews to verify the rating that is your, that you're, they need to have some actual reviews to verify the rating that is also being claimed within the aggregate review rating. So you're gonna want these reviews on the page. You're gonna wanna be marking up those reviews on, on the page. Now you don't have to have every single review, but you do need to have some physical reviews to mark up and you need to make sure that you have aggregate review rating as well. So let's head over to Simplified Search, one of our sites, and I'm gonna walk you through what this page would maybe look like and then the associated markup you would need. So here we are on the Simplified Search website and under the resources pages, I actually have all of these different examples that you can actually look through to see what the different markups look like as well as what is the associated structured data that you would need in order to receive the markup or, or to receive that rich feature. So this is a product markup and we've got a fake product here, a robot that's gonna uh, do all your structured data markup for you. Uh, we've got a price associated for it. We've got uh, an overall review rating 
and then we've got some physical reviews here on the page as well. Now, if we scroll down, you'll see the JSON LD that's associated with this, and this is the same JSON that you'll also find embedded into this page underneath it. So if we looked at the structured data here, you would actually see a product markup, and within that product markup, you would see reviews. Uh, so you could actually go through this entire uh, markup right here. As you can see, there's the aggregate reviews, as well as other reviews in the body. So again, we'll go up here at the top, and you'll see this is a review type of a product. And then under here, you're going to have this markup. So we've got aggregate rating of 4.7. We have the best rating. So what's the best that they can get and what's the worst that they can get? This is so they know, uh, you know what's, what your score is, is based on. And lastly, you would have the rating count, which is the number of reviews that have been uh, added to this specific pr product. Uh, so we're marking this up here from a very high level. It's telling us how many reviews, what that overall rating might be. And right below all this information here, we've got review. And as you can see, we'll have the review body, the author of the review, which is a different schema type, uh, the name of the review, and in this case, the name we're using is just the author, we've got the date published, and then the rating that she gave us. Now I can mark up every single one of these reviews and just add more of that information in here, but in this case, in this example, I just marked up one of the reviews. Now because I have that information in here, I've got both the aggregate rating and a physical review, my page is now eligible for the review markup. Now to check that, it's always important to do that, you can actually go to the rich results test, and this is going to show you whether you're eligible for that result or not. Now I like to use the schema.org tester, uh, which structured data tester, Google still has it. They were actually going to sunset that product, but so many people pushed back that Google decided to keep it live. Now that's a really good tool to validate your markup if you're looking at structured data itself. But if you wanna know if you're actually eligible for a rich result, this is the test that's actually gonna show you that. So once you have that markup in and you've added it to your page and you've added both the aggregate review rating as well as some physical reviews, this page will not only be eligible for product markup because again, I nested all of this information within the product markup, it's also going to be eligible now for those starred reviews. And that's really important because I wanna make sure that I, I get some more visibility for this product. As you can see here, I've got the product and then I've also got the review snippets. And we can look here and it'll show us the information, we've got both the aggregate review rating and then the reviews themselves. So you're gonna wanna put both of these types in in order to get those stars to show up. Uh, if you just rely on the aggregate reviews, you, you're not going to see the results that you wanna see. Structured data is a game changer and it really helps us get more visibility with our websites within the search results. It's a way that we can compete against maybe some of those bigger sites or some of those bigger players in our industry. It's a way to set ourselves apart from our competition. And it's a way to help our users find more useful information on our website. I've got an entire course that walks you through this from top to bottom. I've built this from a perspective of somebody who started with no training whatsoever when it came to structured data and JSON-LD, and then learned how to do some pretty advanced things with it as, as I've grown. I've shared everything with you on how to get started, as well as how to take your structured data implementation up to a whole new level. If you're interested, and because you're checking us out on YouTube, you can just use the code YouTube to get 25% off, and you can find more about that at learn.simplifiedsearch.net. And as we wrap this up, I wanna say again, thank you for watching. I'm gonna make one more plug. If you need help building out your structured data, we've got a tool here that's gonna help you do that. It's the Structured Data Generator. It's gonna help you build out that product or offer aggregations here, as well as adding reviews and other information within your website. You just fill out the form here. It's gonna build the JSON code for you. You can validate it. You can test it for rich results before adding it to your website. So I hope you learned something new today. I hope you can take advantage of these reviews within the rich results, within the search results here in Google. If you got any questions, please comment below. And until next time, happy marketing.